Hey guys, it's Tom Box here. Welcome to MSD.TV. Now for this video, we're going to stay up to date with the up and comings of OCG Land Soul Fusion. And they recently just spoiled another card, which is a Sky Striker card. It's the next Sky Striker maneuver. Now each of the maneuvers matches one of the monsters. We have the Jamming Waves with the Shizuku. We have the Afterburners with the Kagari. And finally for Vectored Blast for Hayate. Now Vectored Blast is an amazing card and I'll talk about it point by point of what this actually offers to the Sky Striker deck and what it can actually do to other players as well. But uh, before I get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreons. This plug is gonna be a bit longer because I was away at WCQ, but huge shout out to my most recent Patreons, Brandon Lop, I met you at WCQ, Austin Hendricks, uh, we have Deshaun Clemens and Aaron Jacob Holland. Special thanks to every single Patreon, of course, for keeping this channel running live and strong, which lets me make new content, you know, that travel video that I was able to do, and that trout dude capturing dual videos on the go with other people. That's pretty cool, too. One more quick plug. My Fire and Ice mat is finally available for anyone to purchase. Limited copies, of course. Limited time, actually. Even if I don't sell all of them, I'm just going to be like, cut it off right there because, uh... I just really like this mat and I want to make it special for everyone. Anyways, this is uh, available down in the links in the description below. If you want to support this channel, you can also do so in the Patreon link down in the description below. Now let's get into this vectored blast of why it's so amazing. Just a quick note, this video is to give you guys an opening towards all the possibilities. If you guys can expand further, leave it down in the comment section below because I would love to hear what you guys would do with this particular card. And perhaps if my combos are wrong or not as most efficient, you guys can keep me informed as well. Now let's start off by reading the card text of this. Now it's a regular spell card. If you control no monsters in your main monster zone, each player sends the top two cards from their deck to the graveyard. Then if you have three or more spells in your graveyard, you can shuffle all your opponent's monsters in the extra monster zones into the deck. That's it. Well, this card doesn't seem like it's doing very much. Some people are like, oh, this is so situational, but I find this card quite amazing to be honest, especially in a Sky Striker deck, a pure one, in fact. Now, a lot of people tend to focus more on the second effect of getting rid of a monster. Yes, that effect is pretty cool, but I'll talk about that after. I'm more focused and fixated on the first part of the effect, which is to mill two cards. And looking at the Sky Striker deck ratio, we know that they have at least 70% of their deck made up of spells. And because of that, this is a one card three spell in the graveyard, which turns on your second effects. All your engagers are much more potent. Everything is just more amazing and it just speeds the whole deck up right from the get go. And it synergizes with other monsters very well. I'll talk about that in a bit. Now, this is almost like playing Allure of Darkness in the deck. See, Allure of Darkness in a Sky Striker deck isn't actually that bad because if you draw two spell cards and you throw away the Allure of Darkness, then you have three spells. And if you preset your engage, your engage is now going to net you those pluses once again. And to me, that's actually really good. But this time, you don't actually have to set up your hand. You're running no risk of losing out your monsters. And even if you mill stuff like Dark uh, Diablos or stuff like that, it's not going to get banished by an Allure of Darkness. So that's kind of under that line of play. This is a very amazing card for starting up. Now, to me, Vectored Blast also offers you a spell card for Sky Strikers that you can just activate and continue to follow up and activate even more spell cards. It makes your spell cards even more live. It does not hinder you. Now, if you think about all of the spell cards in the Sky Striker deck, like we have the maneuver spells with Jamming Wave and Afterburners, but they have conditions that you have to meet before they actually hit the graveyard. And potentially you even want to activate them later because you want their second effect to start netting you additional pluses or dishing out minuses towards your opponent, which is fair. Then we have Hornet Bit, which is one of the main cards that we play to go into Kigari. And well, the thing is, it summons out that token. Until you get rid of that token, you're not allowed to activate any more spells. So it does hinder you a little. Engage is mainly the only card that just goes straight to the graveyard. We also have the Continuous and the Field Spell. Those can actually put more stuff in the graveyard, but they're going to require you to send something from the field to get there. So... In terms of like blank activations that don't rely on a second card, there's really only Engage, Hornet Drones, and this one new card of Vectored Blast. 
and it is amazing because it sets it up. It immediately turns everything on. If you have this card plus, say, an Afterburner, you're potentially getting the Afterburner Double Pop, which is amazing. And if you already have Hornet Drones, you can even fetch out stuff out of the graveyard, which is awesome. And speaking of the milling effect, your opponent also mills two cards, which can reveal the matchup right from the get-go. Perhaps you want to get an early Widow Anchor. You can plan for that because nothing's really coming to you as a surprise anymore. Now regarding the second effect, this second effect is very effective at breaking the extra link. Especially if it's just made up of nightmare monsters because nightmare monsters, none of them are immune to this because of the fact that this card, first of all, does not target if you get the second effect. Then you get rid of two monsters in the extra monster zone. To me, that is already a net plus for you because you got rid of so many things and uh, you milled additional two cards, perhaps setting yourself up for even more stuff later on. But if they have set up with like a Trigate Wizard and even Wing Dragon Raw Sphere Mode and you can get off the second effect, you toss the Sphere Mode, killing the three in the main monster zone and then this card will remove the remaining two. And if you have Hornet Drones, you can just keep going off and uh, yeah, I guess the board's broken. So yeah, this is a board breaker, but even if your opponent does not make the U board and they just set up with just one monster, you can still play this card to actually bait out the Trigate Wizard that's set up, say for like Spirals or something like that, because it removes the monster in the extra monster zone, and to get a Trigate triple link, one monster needs to be pointing down, and uh, by removing that or just baiting it out, they, they are basically forced to do that negation anyway. And by that time, you can just uh, try to break the board on your own. So yeah, th there's that fairness right there. In terms of synergy, this card works very well. Vectored Blast is very good in conjunction with the Kagari and also multi roll because it gives you options for both of these to trigger their effects and perhaps set additional cards onto the field. But that also means that it does not synergize very well with Shizuku, especially when you put too many copies of something into the graveyard. And looking at Hayate, I know she's not out yet, but she is out in Cybernetic uh, Horizon. When she deals a direct attack, she does mill a uh, Sky Striker card into the graveyard. And by that time, you can get yourself uh, Kagari to add a card. So it seems like a Konami is actually moving forward to put this deck into taking more initiative rather than being passive, like going to Shizuku add a card pass. It seems like we're going to be much more aggressive and much quicker to set up our combos in the near future with Sky Strikers. Now Vector Blast also offers flexibility and versatility in the opening place. We haven't really talked about opening hands, but if we go into opening hands, we have say one copy of Engage and one copy of this. And so you do get lucky and uh, mill the more common mill of two spells. That means you have three spells in the grave and you have engage. If you play engage, you search the Hornet Drones, Hornet Drones into Kagari. Eventually, you add the card back. You would have gotten an additional draw from the first engage because the first engage already had three spells. So you'll be actually netting a plus one at the very least uh, because you'll zero on the first engage and then it'll be a plus one on the second one. And then you are searching stuff that you want. This just makes it pretty damn amazing. If you have sec two engages, that just, just blows my mind. Another typical good hand... If you have a Hornet Bit, multi roll, and this card, you're just getting a lot of the stuff back out from the graveyard. If you have a Widow Anchor milled, you already get it set up with a Widow Anchor, and you can just choose your own adventure of how you want to set up. The initiative of going first is just that much more amazing. There's just many more different options. I would like to you guys to actually show me other really amazing interactions in the opening play with this card. And speaking of like opening plays and not just for a Sky Striker deck, but if you're playing like Light Sworn Sky Strikers or something along those lines, this card is very good because it's not once per turn for per se. So you can actually mill, say if you get three copies of this, mill six cards into the graveyard right from the get go. And even if you don't mill Sky Striker cards, you can still mill other stuff in the graveyard that potentially can activate like a glow up bulb. I mean, when we get Crystal Needle Fiber, glow up bulb is going to be a thing and you will not mind milling that glow up bulb. You might even run the uh, Blackwing Steam the Cloak. There's just oh, so many options that you can run because it just gives you that additional mill option and Dark Lord, Darkest Diablos, Lord of the Lair, that is also a potential card that you don't want to draw, but you wouldn't mind seeing in the graveyard as well. So there's a lot of mill potential with this. And I can see the deck taking a different turn depending if they want to play three copies of this or not. It's not like the most ideal card per se because Foolish Barrel Goods is a much more targeted card. 
uh, and you are relying on a bit of luck when it comes to this. I'm not going to completely ignore the luck factor because luck plays a huge factor. If you just don't mill stuff or you just whiff, it's like when people play area zero and they whiff on that, they get like a hand trap, call by the graves, and perhaps another spell that's not Sky Striker related. And it's like, boom, you get really angry because you failed to send that Metaphors Fusion into the graveyard. So you're stuck with like a crappy back row that's basically just a bluff. But anyways, that is all I got for this video. Hopefully I gave you a bit of an insight of how you would play this card. But uh, if you guys got better ways of doing so, let me know down in the comment section below. Remember again, the mat is now available for you guys to purchase down in the description. There is a link there for the Lit versus Chill, the Fire and Ice of MST.TV. Uh, that is the feature mat that I always use for feature duels. So go check it out if you guys want to get one. It's a limited time offer. And as always, don't forget to hold on to MST.TV. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please drop us a like so we know we are doing a good job. And you can also subscribe to MST.TV for more fantastic videos by clicking on the button on the left. Don't forget to check out our partners at Imperium Duelist. They make really high quality mats, including some of my own limited edition release stuff. And if you want to check out one of our past videos, click here on the right. As always, don't forget to hold on to your MST.TV and I'll see you next time.